Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there on YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Views back at you today with another one. And today I am looking at the last pumpkin beer out of the Elysian Brewing Pumpkin Pack. It cost me $10.99. Normally priced $18 to $19.99. Um, and of the three beers that I've had out of the variety pack, I would say that it's definitely worth the price. So... The last one on the agenda is the Elysian Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout. It is 7.5% alcohol. It is a pumpkin stout with chocolate and cinnamon. It is unfiltered and may contain sediment. The best buy date is February 9th, 2020, so well within the freshness date. Elysian Brewing Company out of Seattle, Washington. They were acquired in 2015 by InBev, so the distribution should be pretty much nationwide at this point. So if you're interested in the variety pack or any of these pumpkin beers, you should be able to find them uh, somewhere around your area if you live in the United States. So let's go ahead and give this thing a crack and a pour and see what we're dealing with here. I've had a few pumpkin stouts over the years. Uh, for the most part, I've been very pleased with pumpkin stouts. I think the dark roast, the chocolate flavors, and those pumpkin pie notes really complement one another and make for a good beer. So there's your poor black appearance, uh, about a finger, half a finger's worth of a relatively creamy looking beige head. The aroma. Wow. I'm getting some milk chocolate as well as some dark chocolate. I'm getting some of those pumpkin pie spice notes, but they're kind of in the background. I'm definitely getting the roast, some nice toasted bread notes on the aroma. A little bit of the cinnamon. But not too much. I like that I'm getting the roast uh, from the barley malt as the primary aroma, and then the pumpkin pie spice and the chocolate as well are in there. But the pumpkin pie spice in particular is more in the background with this one. It's definitely not the leading aroma. It smells really malty, really nice. Um, so without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Wow. Roasty, toasty, delicious. As soon as I took that first sip, I got darkly toasted bread notes. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of that chocolate, more dark chocolate on the palate. I was picking up on a milk chocolate on the aroma, but it's definitely more of a dark chocolate now that I've actually tasted it. Um, the pumpkin pie spice notes are there, but they're very muted with this one. Of the four pumpkin beers in the variety pack, this one is the least pumpkin like or pumpkin pie like those notes are definitely muted with this one and it could just be because this is a stout so you've got all those other flavors stouts have such a uh, unique flavor profile and the dark roasted malt uh, all of those flavors can be very upfront so it, they're kind of masking the pumpkin pie notes with this one although they are there seven point five percent alcohol <laughs> What 7.5% alcohol? I'm not getting any alcohol at all on the aroma, on the palate, the finish, no warming going down the throat. Absolutely no hint of alcohol with this, which is kind of scary at 7.5%. That's getting up there. It's almost got a little bit of a creamy mouthfeel going on. Uh, this one does not contain lactose like the Puncacino did, but it definitely does have a nice creamy mouthfeel. The finish is relatively crisp. There is some nice carbonation with it. Very clean, no off flavors. Um, refreshing for a pumpkin stout, for sure. As refreshing as a stout can be. It's not a sessionable, all-day type of thing, but it's very refreshing um, as a pumpkin stout. The finish is also, it's not wet, but it's definitely not a dry finish. Um, I guess it's kind of in between, more of a semi-dry 
finish with this one. The body is on the medium side, getting up there towards heavy, but it's not a heavy body beer. I've had a lot of stouts, a lot of syrupy, thick, very heavy stouts. This one's not syrupy at all. It is a little bit heavier from all the dark uh, toasted barley malt. The, the roast of this one is very prevalent, very in your face, but it's not a very heavy body beer. Uh, it is medium on the medium side, like I said. Overall, a very enjoyable pumpkin stout. I had the Southern Tier Warlock a few years back, and I thought that one was out of this world. Um, this one is, is not up to that level, but it definitely has some really nice qualities going um, for it. I wish, honestly, I wish the pumpkin pie spice notes were a little bit more uh, noticeable in this. It's almost just like a regular stout. You're not really picking up too much on the pumpkin pie spice. Uh, but it is there in the background. But I would have liked a little bit more of that uh, pumpkin pie spice note on the palate. I think that would have made it a little bit more malty, a little sweetness. A little bit more sweetness would have gone a long way with this one because it does have a little bit of bitterness on the finish because of how dark it is. I don't know what the IBUs are, uh, but if I had to guess, I would say somewhere between like 30 and 40. Uh, it definitely has a significant bitterness to it, but it is very nice, um, and it's in the A range, but I think I'm going to go with a 92 out of 100 for this one. It's my least favorite out of the variety pack um, because it's the least pumpkin-flavored beer in the variety pack. It is a great stout. Uh, it does have those nice, roasty, toasty flavors along with the dark chocolate notes that you would expect with this style. But it falls a little bit short on the pumpkin pie flavors. Uh, so 92 out of 100. It is still in the A range, but it is an A-. minus. Um, I would recommend it, obviously, and especially if you can find the variety pack. All of the beers in the variety pack are in the A range. This is my least favorite, but it still gets a 92 out of 100. It's that good. So uh, definitely check it out if you can find it. The Elysian Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout. It's really amazing how well that alcohol is masked at 7.5 percent not getting any of that so like i said 92 out of 100 that'll do it for this beer review guys hope you're all having a great day and until next time everybody cheers